David with DFW Gun Cleaning. Today we're going to be talking about the Ruger M77 Mark II Frontier, better known as Ruger's first scout rifle. In the last decade or so, Ruger has been producing the Gunside Scout, which is a 308 chambered rifle available in both left and right hand actions. For my taste, that gun is a little bit heavy, and, and I, you know, I just can't come around to the Accuracy International Pattern magazines. If Ruger were to release something similar in a AR-10 pattern magazine or SR-25, that would really get my attention. That being said, I absolutely love the Ruger Frontier and I wish they would bring this thing back into the lineup. A Hawkeye with the quarter rib would be incredible. So Ruger, if you're listening, not only myself, but I know a lot of other people who would jump at the opportunity to own a Hawkeye Frontier rifle. So what is the Frontier? Frontier was produced from 2005 to roughly 2009 when it was discontinued and replaced by the Gunside Scout. The Ruger Frontier is basically the M77 Mark II Compact that utilizes the quarter rib on the barrel courtesy of the Ruger Mark I single shot or the Ruger number no. one single shot rifle. This particular version is in 7mm odd 8. It is stain has a matte stainless finish on it and it is equipped with the Leopold FX2 2.5 by 28 intermediate eye relief scout scope. And the intermediate eye relief, as you can see, positions the scope ahead of the action, leaving the gun open and accessible for reloading. Very quick and easy to top it off. This one does feature a hinged floor plate, just like most of your Ruger M77 rifles. This gun, as configured with the scope, the sling, everything just like you see it, seven pounds, 15 and a half ounces, so just under eight pounds with the 16 and a half inch barrel and the shortened stock. It is incredibly lightweight and maneuverable. It's a joy to carry. I mean, all day you can carry it with the uh, attached sling or right here at the balance point, just over the action, it makes it really easy to get your hand over it right where the rifle's balanced, producing fatigue when you're carrying this thing out in the field all day. This particular example has taken numerous deer and pigs. It is a great, great cartridge and a great rifle. Just like all of the Ruger M77 Mark II and Hawkeye series, it features the uh, three position safety mounted at the rear of the bolt. All the way back is safe with the action locked. One click forward is the trigger is locked, however the bolt is open and can be operated. All the way forward is the fire position. This one features a five round internal box magazine with the hinge floor plate which we've already gone over. I can't say enough good things about this gun. I really wish Ruger would bring these back to market. It's much lighter than the Gunside Scout series and in my opinion just a better gun all around. I really do like the shortened length of pull. At one point in time, I had a 308 version of the M77 Mark II Compact. Really regret letting that one get away, but I did replace it with this particular example and have not looked back. Uh, just a fantastic rifle. Quick, quick to get up to point of aim. With the intermediate eye relief scope, you do have a reduced field of view versus like a 3x9 mounted at the over the receiver bridge. However, uh, you can shoot this with both eyes open, given that it is just a two and a half power fixed magnification optic. The Leopold glass, incredibly clear, just like I've come to expect from all Leopold optics. This thing has taken spills. It has been dropped out of a tree. It has fallen off a four-wheeler. The scope has held zero. The rifle continues to shoot the point of aim. This thing was sighted in when I picked it up originally in 2007 and it has not shifted yet, knock on wood. And it's just been a fantastic gun. It's been in the field quite a bit. Dents, dings, it's got them. Scratches, you bet. Uh, but it definitely holds up to Ruger's legendary reputation for outstanding quality products at an affordable price. I do understand that you know if they were to make it today, the price would be a little bit higher than it was back when I picked this thing up over a decade ago. Uh, but that's a price that I am willing to pay. Uh, so Ruger, once again, if you're listening, 
M77 Hawkeye, Frontier Rifle. Make it happen. If you have any questions about the Ruger M77 Frontier, let me know down below in the comments. Go to the uh, shooting footage and give you all some shooting impressions. As you can see from the range footage, the action on this thing is very, very quick. Having the scope out in front makes it very easy to access the bolt, run it home very, very quickly. Yeah, the ejection, flawless, one, once again, that Ruger reliability through and through. I can't really say enough good things about this rifle. The 7mm on 8 cartridge is very mild recoiling. A little bit softer shooting than 308 or any of the heavier cartridges that this thing came in. I believe it came in at 243, 7 millimeter on 8, 308, 300 WSM, 338 Federal, and 358 Winchester. If you have one in another caliber, let me know down below. If you've seen them in any other calibers, I would really like to hear about it. And, you know, let me know what your thoughts are, guys. If you have any questions, comments let me know down below otherwise don't forget to like subscribe and share with your friends have a great day